All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, install this uh, Pentium 4 or 3 gig. Uh, the, this is the 775 socket, and this is the 478. So we just, all, all we do, it's, I mean, uh, it will work. I've already started here. You just want to remove a layer of pins. These are just the extra pins on the uh, 775 socket. Should be what, uh, like six, the first six layer of pins, usually. Uh, sure. Um, just want to make sure they get out of the way. Really, I mean, it's you gotta make sure you don't you don't go all over. Um, I've been doing this a long time, so I'm uh, making it look easy right now. But if you can notice, I'm only uh, only well six and a half rows or so, which is about the max. I mean, I, once you get in the seventh row, things really start to slow down. All right, yeah, so just, just before that square yeah, there. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, there we go. And uh, the pins actually line up. It should snap right in. So okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should. So it's not so retrofitting a 478 and 775 socket. Yeah, it's... Yeah, a lot of people think you can't do this, but it's just, you have to do some modifications. Well, it's usually right here is where they give up, and actually it's just a... Uh, it's give it a little force, eh, to push it down? Yeah, it's almost... There we go. There it goes. Oh. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, do you have the... Uh, the can you pass me the trimmer tool there? There we go. There we go. No, I got it. All right, perfect. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. So you just want to make sure you get it nice and snug. And uh, there we go. Nice and nice and snug in. And uh, tune in for the next video. We're going to boot her up and uh, make sure everything's working okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Yeah.